In this problem, we're asked to convert the pressure quantity 28 kilopascal to its equivalence in PSI. Um, first of all, we want to understand what this unit kilopascal means. So one pascal, by definition, is one newton per meter squared. So pascal is the SI unit for pressure. Newton is the SI unit for force. Okay. Therefore, one kilopascal, this K here, this prefix means a thousand times. Therefore, this equals to 1,000 pascal, which means that it equals to 1,000 newton per meter squared. Therefore, as you can tell, we are actually asked to convert 28,000 newton per meter squared to PSI, and PSI is pound per inch. So at this point, I think you might see why I wanted to do this little explanation first, this uh, analysis first, because now we have two units that are comparable. Both units have force on the numerator and area on the denominator. So in order to convert Newton per meter squared to pound per inch squared, we establish the equalities the relation between newton and pound is 1 newton equals to 0 0.2248 pound. That's given here. Okay, And we also know that 1 inch equals to 2.54 inch, uh, sorry, centimeter. And as you can see here, we have meter. Therefore, we also need to convert between centimeter and meter, and one meter equals to 100 centimeter. So now we're ready. We want to convert 28,000 newton per meter squared. We want to convert between meter and centimeter. So we're going to start with this equality, and we're going to write the conversion coefficient because we're trying to get rid of meter. Meter right now is on the denominator. Therefore, we're going to write one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter this way, so that when meter is on the numerator in our conversion coefficient, there's a chance that we can cancel meter out with this meter on the denominator. But of course, right now, here we have meter raised to the second power, therefore, we need to raise this entire conversion coefficient to the second power. We cannot only raise the numerator to the second power or the denominator to the second power. The reason is this whole thing right here is equivalent to a pure number one. Therefore, we can raise the pure number one to any uh, power and it is still going to be one. So we are multiplying a coefficient that is pure number one. Therefore, we are not changing our original quantity. We're not supposed to change our original quantity. So after this step, we can cancel out the meter, but we still need to convert between centimeter and inch. Therefore, we're going to use this equality. In order to cancel out the centimeter that is on the denominator, we're going to write it this way with centimeter on the numerator. And the same thing, because the centimeter is going to be squared, therefore we are going to do this, raise the entire coefficient to the second power. And then the last thing is to cancel out the Newton right here, which is on the numerator, using this equality. So we're going to write pound on the numerator here and Newton on the denominator, so that the Newton and Newton can be canceled out. So as a result, as you can see, we can cancel out meter squared from here, centimeter squared from here, uh, sorry, not inch, but newton and newton here. The remaining unit left will be pound per inch squared. So we 
collect all the numbers, 28,000 times 1 over 100 squared times 2.54 squared times 0, 0 sorry, 2248. So that's the, that's collecting all the numbers and then we just attach the remaining unit to it, which is pounds per inch squared. So after we do the calculation and uh, keep three significant figures, this is going to be 4.06 pound inch squared. And by definition, pound per inch squared is PSI. So this is the final answer.